SEMA Manager has several canned alignment routines. One of these is the 3 2 1 alignment, and that's what we'll be looking at today. It is important to understand that 3 2 1 does not just represent the amount of points being taken three points on a plane, two on a line, and one to set an origin. It stands for the degrees of freedom that are being constrained as the alignment progresses. To start this routine, let's click on 3, 2, 1 alignment icon. We will start out by measuring three points on the top plane. In the alignment routine, this plane will automatically be leveled on the XY plane and Z origin will be set on this surface. Leveling the part constrains two rotational degrees of freedom as shown with the circular arrows and one translational degree of freedom. This means that the part cannot rotate about the X or the Y and cannot move up and down in Z. Now measure a two-point line along the x-axis. Aligning the axis on this line will stop the final degree of rotation about the z and set the y-axis origin on this line. Now let's take the final point on the part as shown and this will lock in or constrain the final translational degree of freedom. Click OK to accept the alignment and that's it. That's all it requires on the 321 alignment. And this is the function of the 321 alignment to fully constrain the part.